Okay, I wanted to make a movie about special features because I want to get something straight. I think almost any movie person out there can agree with me. The special features you get for Blu-rays, DVDs, um, HD DVDs, <laughs> um, what else, 4Ks, any, or even VHS tapes have them once in a while. They're never any good. It's just these cheap interviews that you get to watch people that talk about the film. And the reason why I say they're never any good is because after you watch them, then you go on YouTube and you find out it was already on YouTube for free. That's a really is a pain in the ass. You buy a movie and it's free. I mean, you buy a movie and the special features are free on the internet. Now, I've tried to figure some of this stuff out. I don't quite understand it. All I'm going to say is this. Um, over the years of me buying films, uh, at least for TV shows, most TV shows, at least back then if you bought them, but if you bought a Walk of Texas Ranger or something, usually you didn't get many special features at all. But um, nowadays, they're starting to, to make, it, make it look like you're getting something exclusive out of your purchase when the special features are all garbage. Um, a lot of TV shows, especially like NCIS, is crap. They give you maybe an hour's worth of stuff. You know, you've been buying the show now. Um, the next season will be the 20th season on DVD. And you're going to tell everyone that this is all they can give you? I hope the last season they have, they throw something in that's good. Maybe a whole bonus disc again. They did have one. Was it the one? Yeah, it was the season with the Blu-ray for NCIS. They decided to put an extra disc, which I lost that disc for an enormous amount of time until I finally found it. Um, it's a crappy disc. I found out they made a whole new DVD just to slam like 45 minutes on it and that's it. And what an insult, right? I heard you make a whole extra disc for 45 minutes. You could have just stuffed that onto one of the regular discs if you wanted to. But that's how it is. Um, and then the newest stuff you're buying for 4K is all um, legacy special features from previous re releases, like 10 years or more, if you go back. Like the Star Trek The Next Generation trilogy for movies, Generations, First Contact, Insurrection, Nemesis, all those movies are all just ported over for special features on the 4K. So if you buy 4K now, you're not really gaining anything. You're kind of actually just doubling up on special features. I don't bother to watch the special features anymore. I don't have time for it. I mean, like, I can, I can assume like most people that watch movies and stuff, it's just a pain in the ass, especially if you've already watched it. I can understand if you've never watched it before. Sometimes I watch them over again. Like, I'm going to watch the Superman ones over again because I don't remember them at all. I haven't seen them in like 10 years. Oh, a really long time. But you know, other than that, I'm not going to go over another special feature for certain things again. Like, it's just ridiculous. Just a couple of years ago, during the pandemic, I watched all the Next Generation special features. Why would I watch them all over again on, um, <laughs> on the 4K discs? They're not going to be any different. Uh, I'm, I'm just disappointed in the industry. I, I we really wish they, they have a lot of footage. Don't let these people lie to you. There's tons and tons of deleted scenes and gag reels for every single movie you buy. There's all screw-ups. There's people laughing. Why do they leave out everything and only give you like five or six minutes is beyond me. Why not give you a whole disc of gag reel stuff? People would pay more money for it if they could just get a good laugh. What about deleted scenes? There's tons of deleted scenes. There's probably at least a couple hours of scenes that they delete out of every movie. So why do they give you a lousy few minutes sometimes, in, in TV shows especially? Sometimes the deleted scenes for an episode is like 40 seconds. It's like, what the, what's the point even showing you a lousy 40 seconds? There's a lot more than that. Um, writing to these people will do no good. you got to remember that. Special features is something that they just... It's, an, it's just, you're very lucky if you get anything. I don't think you should be grateful for, grateful for it anymore because it's, it's garbage. Um, what I think people should do is they should um, just skip it if they want to. I don't think it's a big deal. Skipping something like this at this point is really not the end of the world. I can tell you that um, as personally, at least in my book, I'm going to start skipping things if I can. If I don't feel like watching them, they like they really stink. It's I don't watch the Comic Con panels and all my um TV shows. That's another thing. Oh, 
Um, when it comes to a lot of too, I don't have really any Marvel shows. I told you I was really cutting back on Marvel. Not cutting back. I was going to completely cut off Marvel. So windy out. But um, what I wanted to do was, is I, I, when, I, I, when I watch the DC movies, if, if I get any new future seasons for it, I want to remember that this, sometimes there's special features on it, but those stink too. Like I said, the gag reel is crap. The deleted scenes are crap. Everything they give you along the lines of movies is, is crap now. Um, and you better watch out. Don't buy the releases from uh, Mill Creek and all. I don't understand why movie collectors buy anything from them. They don't have any special features. All they do is the bare bones release and it doesn't look good. And it, the, the discs skip all the time. There's that, there hasn't been one Mill Creek release I bought where there wasn't some kind of problem with the Blu-ray. Whether it was Quantum Leap or Knight Rider or especially Miami Vice was totally riddled with problems. No special features though in any of them. Um, so, you know, people believe it or not, you know, now that I look at it, there was a, quite a bit of special features on DVDs. I mean, it wasn't very long, but the, a lot of the movies had them. I, I don't think they ever really stuck on with people. It's the commentaries that really stuck with people for a long time. Problem is, the commentaries, if you look at them, they're, they're basically the, yeah, not basically, they're the entire movie of someone talking about it. I never watched a commentary ever in my life of any movie, TV episode, or anything. I already watched the movie. Why would I watch it all over again as a commentary? That's just idiotic in my opinion. Um, and not even on my most favorite best movies or anything like that. I just don't have the patience for it. I mean, I know that's what Laserdisc is known for, and I love Laser. I think I I would love Laserdisc for that, but the problem is, is that you still have to watch the movie all over again to watch the commentaries. So that, and not all my Laserdiscs have that. So um, if you want to buy, if you want to get special features, um, don't expect anything new, especially from the re-releases. Um, no, this has nothing to do with anything. But Rain Man's not even getting a Blu-ray. It's um. No, never. It's getting a Blu-ray, but it's not getting... I don't think it's getting a digital copy. That's really terrible. A movie like, I thought that was a great movie, and they're not going to give anyone a digital copy. Like, what are they trying to do? Are they having big sales on iTunes or something? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, what else can I say? That's it. Bye-bye.